I'm gonna start with our pantry because I get tons of questions about pantry organization. I can only specifically talk about what I'm showing you here in my pantry, but hopefully some of this can apply to you as well. We have a really deep cabinet pantry. So from here to here, all the way down to the floor is all the space we have to hold our dry food. This goes all the way back so far that I actually have to stick my whole arm in the pantry just to reach what's in the back. My solution here, if you have a deep pantry, is to use plastic or any kind of removable bin that you can use as almost a drawer. I can pull everything that's in the back all the way up to the front so I don't have any expired food or things that go bad. My other tip is that I keep everything on the top shelf, which is essentially eye level for us. Those are things that we use frequently, our snacks and things I don't want to have to get all the way down the floor just to find. So things that I use a lot are going to be up here on the top shelf. Things that we use sometimes, like our cooking ingredients, some of the supplements, nuts and seeds, things that we're not using every single day, but I do need to use sometimes are going to be here. I was able to maximize the vertical storage space in our pantry with double stacking some of these bins here. Again, they act as drawers, so I can pull this out. I can see what's in the back. There are some extra like canned goods and chicken stock, things that I use for cooking, but I don't need to get to those every day. So I'll keep things that I use most often in the top two containers here because those are a little easier to get to. Things that are in the bottom two containers, I you know, keep down there because I don't use them as much. I flipped the camera around to show you the bottom shelf here. We keep mostly our baking ingredients down here. So I'm not using these every single day. I also have some more in the corner here that are stacked. There's some ingredients on the bottom and then some on top of the shelf to, again, maximize more of our vertical storage. We have coffee and tea over here on the left and we use those frequently, but it's easy to just bend down and grab a coffee pod. Whereas stuff in the very back, I don't use a whole lot. So I am not gonna put stuff back there that I am gonna forget about or things that are gonna expire quickly. I keep our baking ingredients and then I'm really the only one who bakes anyway. So when we need to make something, I can bend down and actually see what's in here. And my husband doesn't ever really have to go down here. Moving on to our refrigerator, I have a very similar setup and system here as I do to our pantry, where I have pull out containers like this one. It's actually the same one that I have in my pantry. I keep this one, if you can see the label there, it says protein. I only put meats in here because I don't like to contaminate other food if this ends up dripping or there's any kind of liquid when it defrosts. I like to have all of that in one container and then I can also take this out really easily and wash it. Whereas if it drips on a shelf in the refrigerator, you have to take the whole shelf out. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I also have some pull-out containers down here on the bottom. This one right now is for leftovers, but these are all kind of fluid. So I don't label these on the bottom because it might be dips like hummus one day and then it might be leftovers another day. We might have cheese in this one today, but we might not have cheese for another week. So it really doesn't need to be labeled specifically. I just keep it categorized. So right now, this one again has leftovers. I can pull out that container. Again, it's easy to wash if something drips or spills in there. This one for now has yogurt and some dips in it. And then this one for now again has some cheese. So our refrigerator is looking a little sad this week. Um, my husband's been out of town, so we didn't do a big grocery shopping trip this week but it usually has a little bit more food than this. Um, we have condiments and sauces up here in the Lazy Susan. So we keep jelly and let's see, like soy sauce, ketchup, things like that in that Lazy Susan. I have an obsession with sparkling water. So we always have cans of sparkling water on um, in stock or in our refrigerator. So right now we use this, another pull-off container that's easy to refill when we come home with a 12 pack of cans. We can take this container out, set it on the countertop, refill it with the cans, and then just put it back in. I don't think there's a whole lot of other organization besides that for our refrigerator. We keep just produce down here in these two bins, which say produce, again, to prevent more cross-contamination with putting other stuff that might leak in there. I keep eggs in this, let me see if I can pull it out without dropping a dozen eggs. I use one of these ceramic egg 
folders. I prefer this over an egg carton and then we can recycle the egg carton. So every time we get home from the grocery store, we refill the egg tray and then we get rid of the carton. I'll show you the door. I'll have to flip the camera around to show you the refrigerator door. Again, our refrigerator is looking a little sad right now because we don't have any groceries, but usually this top container up here is for more beverages or any extra sodas that didn't fit in that container. We keep our Brita pitcher, our kind of smoothie ingredients or cooking ingredients down here. I have more smoothie ingredients and then this container is always butter. So I was able to label it. You can see I wrote there um, with a chalk ink marker. This is removable with alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And I did the same thing with our produce. So when we move out, we're not leaving any damage or products here, any labels. So that's it. If y'all have any questions about my refrigerator, please tell me. Looking inside the cabinets, we have this cabinet with more of our, I call it like our food prep, cooking prep, some of our entertaining pieces here. I used one of these, I don't know if it's a lid organizer, but you can use this for obviously many different things. We have cutting boards, our strainers, platters, and serving boards, a couple of serving trays here. I have a second setup just like this in the back with our muffin tins and our baking pans that we don't use as often because obviously I have to move some of this stuff to get whatever's in the back, but that's why I put this in the front because we use this more often. I have containers up here in the second shelf for our uh, blender, our Nutribullet, and some more food prep. Again, the same kind of drawer system I used here so I can pull this entire thing out if I need to when I'm cooking. We have like measuring cups in our, we call it like a box grater and all of that good stuff that we need when we're cooking. On the top shelf, I keep things that we don't use as often because I do have to get on a step stool to reach some of those. We have a lunch box on the right in the very back and we have a toaster in the back as well. We really don't use a toaster that much. I keep my hand mixer in a container with all the attachments and I also keep any baking products here with any attachments in that container. We keep all of our coffee mugs stored right over the coffee machine in this cabinet and we have the rest of our drinking glasses and some like souvenir glasses up there on the top that we don't actually use but I kept them all together up there so I don't have to look at them every time I open the cabinet. This is my favorite cabinet in our kitchen because it's cute and colorful, but it's also very practical. We have all of our dinnerware down here on the bottom shelf. We added a shelf riser for plates and bowls on the bottom. So it adds basically an extra shelf on top of that. We have our mixing and serving bowls in the middle shelf, which we use every single day, maybe even multiple times a day, we'll wash out one of those. The third shelf is our cookbooks and some of our cute serving pieces that we use every once in a while. And I have my baking dishes up here at the top that I do use every once in a while. So we don't have any china. We don't have any fancy dishes that we bring out once or twice a year. We never registered for them when we got married. So this is all of our dinnerware and I like it. I guess if a guest comes over, um, we will serve them on white corral dishes and that's fine by me. And I think that's fine by the people who come over. We're not hosting any fancy dinner parties in our one bedroom apartment. So at the time, this is really all we need. In our bottom cabinet, we keep our big stock pots that don't fit with the rest of our pots and pans. We have our slow cooker, my food processor, and a couple other pots and pans in the back, some serving pieces, and an extra bowl for my KitchenAid mixer. Our silverware drawer is pretty minimal. We just keep knives, small knives up here, our obviously regular everyday silverware, and then we have some serving spoons and the measuring um, spoons that I use every day. We also keep chip clips in the back here, which is right next to our pantry. So that makes it convenient when we're putting food away. I keep spices in the second drawer. We really don't use a ton of spices, so this works well for us. I didn't add any fancy spice organizing products here. These are actually all spices in their original containers. I just took off the outer label and added my own label. So that is a fun project. If you really want to take off sticky labels, it was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. So I didn't end up doing the rest of them, but I do like the way these look without their original labels. Here we have our food storage is what I call it. 
and toothpicks because I don't know what category you really put those in in the kitchen. But we have food storage bags and wraps. And the rest of our food storage, or some people call Tupperware, down here in the bottom, I have a spring-loaded drawer divider holding all of our lids and the rest of our containers are nested in the back here. I would suggest, if I were to do this over again, I would only get one shape or size of Tupperware containers so that everything's nest neatly. We do use this thing pretty often. It's one of those that you can reheat soups in. So it's a ceramic piece that I do actually use more than you would think for storage, but I would say it'd be nicer to have consistent lids and consistent containers. So instead of having a mix of different things, I will only buy one type of container from now on. This is what I call in most kitchens a gadget drawer. So gadgets and devices that we use when we're cooking, can opener, a grater, our lemon and lime squeezer, that kind of stuff. So our accessories for opening beers and wine bottles, that's all we have as far as gadgets. This is everyone's favorite, a junk drawer in the kitchen. Really, this is all my stuff. Um, I don't think my husband has anything in here, but we do keep some office supplies, things that we use um, every day, stapler, mail opener. I keep headphones in here for when I go out for a walk or go to the gym. I usually have a gift card wallet right here. I actually have it in my purse right now because I recently used it, but most of the time it lives in our junk drawer. I have sunglasses I use when I go out the door and all of my Apple Watch accessories here because I change my bands out here and I also charge my Apple Watch on our countertop at night. I guess the only junk really that we have in our junk drawer is some flower food that I'm going to use for flowers I just bought, some tokens from a, an arcade we go to every once in a while, and I guess some, some drink tickets from a bar, but that's the only junk and I could probably get rid of all of that stuff. The rest of our pots and pans are over here in this freestanding rolling cart from Ikea. We also keep our oven mitts down here because we're right next to the oven. Keep our cooking oils and vinegars down here because they're easy to get to. And we have all of our dish towels folded in the bottom drawer. On the second shelf is where we keep all of our most often used pots and pans. And on the top, we just have a cute cutting board that was a wedding gift a cookbook from my mom, and it's just a couple of decorative things because it's cute. We don't keep a ton under our kitchen sink. I do have these pull-out shoe drawers from the container store that holds our dishwasher pods and our cleaning rags for the kitchen down here. I keep my dishwashing gloves and some sponges on the top of that. I hand wash a lot of dishes, so I'll put them down here in this strainer to dry instead of keeping that on the countertop and we keep one extra roll of paper towels on hand and all of our reuse, I guess reusable um, grocery bags down here on the bottom in these containers. And my rule is that once these containers are full, like I can't fit another paper bag in that container, that's all we keep. We don't overflow into another part of the house <laughs> and even our plastic bags, I can tell we're getting a little too full. So the next time I bring home plastic grocery bags, they're gonna have to go straight to the recycling bin because we don't need that many of them. So that's all we keep. Above our microwave is space that is a little harder to get to. So I don't keep a ton of stuff up here, but I have some more entertaining supplies like our plastic silverware in a bin. I have vases or vases, depending on how you pronounce that. Some emergency jugs of water because we have hurricanes and snowstorms sometimes. And then just some more, like I said, entertaining supplies, our koozies and extra cups, stuff like that. The last part of our kitchen is the storage space above the refrigerator, which is kind of a cluster of random stuff for us. We do use this as our like medicine cabinet. We have just regular medicine, first aid and <clears throat> pain management stuff, and then our vitamins. I keep my yoga mat and my foam roller up here Behind that, we actually have some Christmas ornaments that we store here. And on top of the shelf, we have our Christmas angel, our Christmas wreath, and a few more Christmas decorations because this is the only place we really have to keep them in our house. So that's our whole kitchen. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please reach out to me and I hope you enjoyed our kitchen tour.